They're pining out for their babies, eh? This is what slavery looks like. See this, this girl here, she's about to give birth. This poor mother left here, left here to give birth in her own feces on the floor, urine everywhere. Now, when she does give birth, this might take a few hours for her to give birth, but when she does, her child will be taken. So this is what this is what's happening so we can eat dairy. This here is not too oh wow. She might be giving birth now. Let's just Looks like she's she's pushing. One sec. Look how little this baby is. She's very protective of her baby. Very protective. It's okay, sweetie. She knows what's coming next, yeah? She might have, this wouldn't be her first. This lady here has already maybe had, had hers taken. See, this poor lady here behind me has already had her calf taken. She just looks so distressed. And now this cow here, over here, is standing over her calf because she knows, she knows what's coming. I think maybe she knows that they're gonna take her baby. She is behind me here, she just lost her child. That's probably one of the saddest things I had to witness. That poor innocent little calf. Okay, so now this is where they're obviously, they're led in to be milked. I think they milk up to three times a day. Look at the big row of them. So these milking machines can be very painful for the cow. Um, they develop infections like mastitis. A lot of pus actually comes out with this milk. So in Australia, it's something like 400,000 uh, cells of pus per milliliter are, is uh, allowed. And other countries, it's obviously higher levels of pus, but um, they can't filter the pus out. They can filter an amount out, but they cannot filter it all out. So it's just pasteurized pus. 
These cows are obviously suffering, they've lost their children, and we are consuming that suffering. Just for some milk, we've got plant-based options. Look at this. They can't even stand up properly. Oh my god. Well, I just... I can't help but be overwhelmed with emotion in here. I like to see the cows uh, slipping over and they're just exhausted and... What, what type of life is this? What type of life is this? This is what we are creating for them. I am um, absolutely speechless. I didn't know we were going to witness this today. Okay, so you see this girl here, she's very sick and this, this part of the uh, dairy here is the hospital and she's lying down suffering, foaming out of her mouth before she was gagging. Um, these look like downers, so when a cow becomes sick or when they stop producing milk or when they collapse, they are kept here and then sent to a slaughterhouse, so all of these cows will be killed. But these ones especially are suffering a lot more. All these cows are suffering, but this here is just added suffering. So. Um, I'd have to say this is common, this is just common, this is how we get our milk, this isn't some far out dairy farm, this was the first one we stopped at, you know, so um, humane milk doesn't exist. Little innocent, little innocent calves. They're so scared. You know, all the time I say when you go to a dairy farm, there is so much sadness and silence. Yeah. The only way that after we go anyway, when they cry. Yes, yeah. this is the reason. Wow. They know all just suffer. That's it. That's all they all know. All their life.